This is Witchspace News for Friday the 5th of April 2019 I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news Cannon are attempting to go where no one has gone before again Operation Ida are attempting something never done before and Frontier introduces a new system for reporting bugs. Canon Research announced this week that they're taking their megaship the Gnosis on another trip into uncharted, usually unreachable space again and you're all invited again. You may remember the Gnosis megaship from what Canon now refer to as Operation Conegate. In September 2019 the ship attempted to jump into the permit locked cone sector of space loaded to the gills with thousands of unarmed explorer vessels and was promptly hyperdicted by swarms of heavily armed Thargoids. The results in game and in the community were explosive to say the least. This time in what Canon are calling Operation Cabin Fever the bespeckled research rangers have announced that they're attempting to jump the gnosis to some target systems that are extremely remote or in the case of two of them in particular entirely outside the reach of regular frameshift technology. The two unreachable target systems are HIP4099 and the snappily named IRAS21565-3937. As no one appears to have been to either system before what lies there is utterly unknown and in the case of HIP4099 it may be a star and literally nothing else. It could also be the Thargoid homeworld. It probably isn't but it could be. But it probably isn't. In the case of <laughs> IRAS21565-3937 however that area of space is also known as the Spare Tire Nebula which I much prefer. Like an awful lot of Elite's galaxy it's a real place and is a planetary nebula first discovered by the astronomer Walter Gale in 1894. He didn't make mention of Thargoid homeworlds and again there might be no planets there but you will at least have a pretty sky with nebula in every direction. Right now the Gnosis is fairly accessible and it stays that way until about the 18th of April if you want to hitch a ride. Links are below if you want to find it and you can expect to be out in the black for about 3 months with possibly nothing to see. Lots of new things to see or you could be an unwitting egg sack for a Thargoid youngling. Operation Ida are attempting something never before tried in all of Elite history. The Valiant Truckers Extraordinaire are going to try and bring a Thargoid damaged station back to online status in less than 24 hours and you can be part of it. Starting at 12pm game time Saturday the 6th of April 2019 Ida will start coordinated shipments of commodities and materials to an as yet unannounced station in the bubble. Pulling in as many commanders and player groups as they humanly can they want to bring the station to a repaired status in less than 24 hours and there's every indication at this point that it's entirely doable. Wanting to make sure they stick to the 24 hour window as tightly as possible Ida haven't publicly announced the target station as of this recording but when they do you can expect mass haulage of goods and loads of community involvement, a veritable sea of T9s and cutters but anything with a cargo hold can make a difference. Keep one ear on your elite social media feeds to get involved when they announce the target system. What a marvellous thing. And finally Frontier has introduced a new system for reporting bugs in the game that is designed to focus attention on the ones with the biggest player impact and in theory get them fixed quicker. The system which is designed around a short web form filling exercise enables commanders to search for a bug they've encountered and upvote it if it's been reported already to help it up the queue. Where a bug hasn't been reported before you can do so easily and quickly for others to upvote. Have a cursory glance at the system right now and you'll see old favourites like the damage multiplier for multiplayer SRV instances, the solid bands of stars in unnatural formations that you encounter closer to the core and deliveries to a station not counting towards repair of that station to name but three. If you've encountered a bug here's your chance to make your voice heard and help get something that bugs you in front of the developers quicker. Links to everything you need are below. 
A quick bit of burr pit news for you before we go. We've got some stuff going on at home next week so unless there's a massive announcement from Frontier it's unlikely that we'll be able to get Witchspace news to you next Friday. Fear not however our regular schedule will return thereafter. That's it for now. Thank you so much for making it this far. If you enjoy our content then please hit like and subscribe and remember to hit the little bell icon to get a notification next time we upload a new video. You can also find us on Twitter, Patreon, Discord and Instagram. Links to all those are in the description below and we'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then ….o7 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>